Hey guys, in today's video I'll be teaching you how to boost your PC's performance and also get smoother gameplay and better hit reg in whatever game you play. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this at Saturday 1pm East. Okay, so the main thing I'll be talking about today is the registry value 132 priority separation. To get there, you would click Windows key R, you would type reg edit in this box, and in here you would go to HQ local machine system current control set control and priority control and then after that you'll see this D word value right here 132 priority separation if you don't have it then you would click right click new and then D word 32 bit value right here and then you would type it exactly like how it is in this D word value right here and then after you create it you want to double click on it you want to go to the decimal value there'll be a bunch of decimal values that you can set in this now in today's video i'm not going to give you guys any insane or godlike decimal value for you guys to put in to get some insane result what i'm going to be doing is explaining how this value works and also if it's really like placebo or not and what you should set for yourself so now i recommend that you guys join my discord server because in here you'll see a link in the resources channel right here that'll lead you to this graph that we're going to be looking at now in here you'll see decimal column right here this is basically all the different values that you can put when you double click this and set it to decimal now the main things that we're going to be focusing on is interval length ps priority separation and foreground quantum and background quantum now what interval is is basically the length and time that your cpu gets to spend on either a foreground process or a background process and as it says long right here, this basically means that your CPU gets to spend a long time within those processes. And if it's a short, then it doesn't get to spend as much time. And then in here, you can also see the amount of time that it'll spend on either your foreground or your background for quantum. Now, as for length, this basically means that your foreground and background gets processed within different times. So if it's variable, as you'll see right here for decimal 21, the foreground quantum is processed within 125 milliseconds, whereas the background quantum is processed within 62.50 milliseconds. If it's fixed right here it's for like decimal 24, you'll see that the foreground quantum and the background quantum both has the same amount of length and time that it's being processed. Now for PS priority separation, this is basically the ratio in which your foreground gets boosted relative to your background. Now, if it says zero right here, this basically means you have no foreground boost. It's being processed within the same time, your foreground processes and your background processes. If it says one, that means you have a two times boost, meaning that your foreground gets twice as much time with the CPU compared to your background. If it says two right here, that means your foreground gets spent three times as much more time compared to your background. Now, if we're talking about what's the best 132 priority separation value, theoretically, decimal 22 and 38 should be the best it's only because the length is variable and you have a high foreground boost meaning that your foreground which is your game is going to spend a lot more time with the cpu compared to the background which should in turn theoretically improve your fps and give you a smoother gameplay but one thing to keep in mind is that there are so many factors that go into the result of what your 132 priority separation value is going to give you a lot of these include your Windows version, your PC specs, and how it's set up. Right now, it's 2024. I would avoid using fixed lengths and really go towards variable lengths as this is similar to preemption. And disabling preemptions isn't really the best anymore in, return, in regards to your performance. Now, as for what would be the best for latency, you would want something that has a short interval and also doesn't give that much of a foreground or background boost meaning that your cpu spends the least amount of time with each process getting it out faster so that would be something like a decimal value of 36 or maybe 37 it really depends on what you want and like i said you should test all these values to see what's the best for you if you guys scroll down as well you'll see that the guy who made this blog tested this himself within cap frame x and he actually got different results unlike mine where his Win32 values, depending on what he put, yielded different results regarding with his 
FPS right here. If this is the case for you, then like I said, pick the one that you think feels the best and is the best for your PC. It's not really a universal value to where I can tell you guys to just use 26 and call it a day. So it's really important to test with the game that you will play and also your feel within the game to see what's the best for you. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this. If you have any content suggestions, feel free to join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. And let me know in the chat what you want to see. But yeah, see you in the next one.